Hello everybody, this is Kurt with the Naked Kurt Experience and I'm back playing some more Fallout 4 and like I told you, we are going to go over and talk to this man over here in the corner. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, confidence man, we're going to speak to Vadim and he's going to tell us about his good old friend Travis who's having the problems on the radio. And then after that we're going to go and pick up Roman for bowling. Have you heard the sound of a 44 cracking near your brain? Just kidding, I'm not gonna do it. Alright, Vadim. This looks sketch. Yes? What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. And you're a good friend for helping him, but what do you want? So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. I haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Uh, how's How that work? something like that even work? Makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and get him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Hmm. Why involve me? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight. I have not actually. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. What time is it now? Oh, it's 8 1 a.m. All right. Well, I guess I'll sit out here with the scum people. Um, thanks. Well, this is a hopping bar. Hmm. Oh, keep out. No. Hey. How's it going? You here often? Alright. Well, let me just... Nope. <clears throat> Hey. Excuse me. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Who are you? You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories. Do not tell me things. that a settlement needs help. I've seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Vaults? Into a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Cool. Monsters? Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute and their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. All right. Pre-war ruins? So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. All right. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. Good story. The bottle was empty. I don't drink very much in this game. I don't know. All right. Well, I, I am done with beer. Here we go. Thank you for finding Earl's killer. Can't believe the doctor would do such a thing. Oh well, at least we have liquor to drown our sorrows. Oops. Uh. Uh. I didn't mean to. Uh, yeah. Mm. We're not gonna get in trouble stealing stuff on accident. 
Did not mean to do that. I was trying to ring the bell. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't there we go. Well, sure looking good lately. All right, let me just go ahead and... What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. I'm... So, what did you have in mind? I'm ever... What does that have to do with anything? I ask because I, I want to... I want you... How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I... They couldn't... Then you... What? Seem... All right, I'm in. Ah, I have. Uh huh. Okay, cool. You know, I don't want to get in trouble, especially here at the bar for stealing. I mean, there's papers you could just. Never mind. No, never mind. I'm just gonna sit down. We're gonna wait this time. We're not gonna screw around anymore because I've been screwing around too much. I'm going to stop it right before the 12. Excuse me. Hey, what's your story? Mercy. You first. Hawthorne. Anyway. Vaults. You've vault? Yeah. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Let's hear your best I'm just doing this so I can get the updates to stuff again. So you explore old ruins? Last place out. So you explore old ruins? Last place out. Ugh. See you around, Hawthorne. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Take it easy. And I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? Can you just leave me alone? I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? You tell him. Hey there, pal. Oh. It's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no, it is not. I don't, I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No, I mean, no. Be bad. <laughs> no, I mean, no. These men, it could, well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. Uh, Titus? Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Um, okay, that's... Well... Let's put the gun away just in case. That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What, listening to us? what, what you going to do, hours? little man? What if they've been listening this uh -huh. whole time? Hey. I'll beat you up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm going to destroy you and your friend here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Black! Black! Boom! 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 What do you want to do, huh? Oh, God, my job. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. Did you maybe cut people off earlier tonight? Oh, um... What kind of question Hi. is that? Do you there. know how much work it is to handle hotel guests at blackout? I ain't your friend, Scabber. Sure Travis. Whoa. What? I can't believe it. We did it. It's all part of dugout team experience. I am not cutting... How do you feel, buddy? I don't know. I don't know. I mean... Wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. 
Yeah, probably. Good man. Oh, good. The other guy got up. I was like, where the hell did he go? Um, it's a little bit of my blood, mostly their blood. There we go. Hello, Vadim. I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? Next part? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Mm -hmm. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis. It might do him some good. All right. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. So. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? All right. So I see, Vadim, you and I no go balls. It's Scarlet and Travis who go bowling. Okay, I see. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Shut the hell up. Where did she go? Hello? Otherwise the bar is over there. Huh. That was a weird door. Where Where did Scarlet go? No. During the day. This is rather strange. I don't know where she is. It... Oh, she's out. Alright, time to get out the gun. This is how you entice people to go on dates with other people, right? I mean, not for you personally, but like if you're gonna force two people to date, you just put guns to them, right? That's 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 how this works. Nah, I won't threaten them. These people need a good time together. I see, she's way out here. Why do you look so strange? That's weird. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. <laughs> well, I could threaten. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that can happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. I'm really hoping that Persuade doesn't fail, because I don't want to bribe her. That's yeah. fucking stupid. Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. Thank you. I'll go see him now. Thanks. You're welcome. Talk to Yafim. I was really going to be annoyed if I had to pay her money to go see him, because that's just... Oh, that that's the most download thing you could do to anybody, friend, not friend, acquaintance, anything, is pay somebody to go see somebody else to see if you can get them in a date. Because money never works out between a date. That's just stupid. It, it turns into, like, it's almost like being a hooker. Male or female, you could be a hooker if, say, like you're a man and somebody pays you money to go date a female. Or if you're a female and somebody goes, you pay, go date a man. It turns you into a hooker. Because then you're only doing it for the money and there's absolutely no attachment at all. No. I want to bribe them. I probably would have reloaded if I failed. Come on, I deserve this cake. I've been good. Damn it. This is terrible. Uh oh. I knew it. It was up to no good, and look what's happened. Did you start making trouble in your neighborhood? Help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They oh, Bull and what's his face? Men, the ones that messed with Travis, they came back, said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay, and then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. 
Please tell me you can do something. Yeah, I can shoot him. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. All right, well, this is a larger quest than I thought it'd be. This is cool. Let us go talk to Travis, who's probably having a wonderful date going bowling with Scarlet. With her big, wonderful American titties. Just like Roman would say. You know, it was funny. Whenever people would play GTA 4, that's the very first person I would make fun of. But he's an endearing motherfucker, isn't he? People still think about him pretty good. And I enjoy talking about him. It's funny to impersonate him, too. He was one of the really good characters in that game. Why I always save them. Hello. Oh. Uh, hey there. What's going on? Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's that's not a funny joke, like at all. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh man, wow, is this, this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's, it's my fault. It's not your fault. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever... Then I'm gonna help get him back. Good man. Agree. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't. I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll. I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Damn, Travis. Damn. Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, uh, I am so funny. Sorry, Travis. You have 50 cal in your room. I'm going to be using that. Yeah, yeah, on a break. I sent you over here, you guys. Parkin. All right, I've been to the Beantown Brewery, so that's good. At least we don't have to waste time doing that. Why did the... Do you see this? Look at the res of that... Okay, there it goes. Res of that bed went low poly there for a minute. Uh oh Hold on, Travis. Give me a sec. All right. Hey, buddy. All right, we're going to save right here. <clears throat> oh, thank God. <clears throat> You're here. So this is it. Odds are if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're We're going to be okay, right? Uh, oh. Um Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, I can do this. Totally. Any uh any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Um, I can tell them to stay behind me. Calm. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? <laughs> oh boy, he brought a pipe pistol. That's great. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to save right here. After the save, we're going to walk in, and we're going to tell these motherfuckers, Hey, motherfucker, it's time for you to calm the fuck down. Oh. Nothing. All 
I hear movement. Yeah, don't talk crazy. <laughs> Do I have a grenade, please? Pulse mine. Alright. Jet, don't fail me now. Bad jet. Or uh, uh, we don't want to be addicted. We're gonna go ahead and use a dick doll. Felt some good stuff though. Have fun. Oh, that's mine. He managed to shoot me through that, like, there, the last shot, too. <laughs> He's the dangerous one. The rest of them are kind of pushovers, so I should probably use the jet and then get him dead. That'd be the better choice. All right, so this guy first. Excuse me, Miles. Your name, last name is Miles, right? Yeah. Hey. Tower Tom's right there. Okay. Whew. Let's do this. No! That's not Tower Tom. Where'd Tower Tom go? Oh, it is Tower Tom. What? Uh oh. Time to move back. Dead and gone. Thank you for the Molotov. I was hoping you'd have one on you. Those are all cleared out. Now, where the hell did that last gouger go? Oh. <gasps> wow. Good freaking work, Miles. Ta Travis. Your name. He managed to get this kill guy killed on his own because I definitely didn't shoot him. Oh, good. You picked up a 10 mil. Good. I'm, I'm glad you upgraded your gun. Vadim! Oh, thank God, Vadim. Uh 
hold on. I already have the chest piece. Do I have the leg? Ooh. I have a deep. Oh, did I just see some more jet? Oh, jet. Oh. Just give me a minute, buddy. All right. Hi. Thank you. You're very welcome, Vadim. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and chems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, oh, buff out. I am Jet, so yes. Rise to see you here. <laughs> hey, Zeke. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Excuse me. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. Good to hear. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. You killed a man. After all this... Shot him in the mouth. I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... Silly, you know? You're a true man! Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. No problem, Travis. Expert, novice. Cool! Dead red coat ale. We will unlock this. That's it. Then we will unlock this. Oops. Cold. Goes. Um, zone? Let's probably join then. That's it. Trouble. Crew's getting restless. Still plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Sent Sparta and a crew out of batch of food to see if they could find something. But folks are going to start deserting if we don't turn up something notable soon. Close reserves of the federal stockpile, but it seems lonely in Red Tourette's parents. Never taught them bitches to share. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from something from Sparta soon. Fuck no bad. We tried to storm in the lock pile, but Lily Red and crew were dug in like ticks. Wiped out half of our men before we could bolt. Dragon Hook managed to grab a couple of the hostages. Maybe we could trade them for at least a couple snack cakes. At least now we got fear of mouths to feed. Jack brought Lily, it's fucking Lily. I'd recognize that bitch anywhere. Drake brought the hostages from the raid up to my room, and the second I saw her, I knew we were saved. Never Red will have to deal with us unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. So much food. I've never seen so much food. When I told her we had her sister, Red and I... Red, though... Oh, that's supposed to be thought. Thought I was full of shit. But one letter from the little sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in, and they're so... There are... And so are the recruits. At this rate, we'll be able to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. Fuck. How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch to the fucking floor. Was still half asleep when she came at me. Thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Gotta clean this up. Do something with the body. This can't get out. Red's not gonna give a shit if she finds that her sister's dead. Problem solved. Room of a fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it, except it never showed, because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. Think she even improved the flavor. That's one problem solved. Ugh. 
But this gang's dead in the water unless food keeps coming in. And that means loads of letters have to keep going out. I'm going to need to find some more pens. Corvega. Seems somebody took down Jared. As much as I hated that chem hungry bastard, he was a no pushover. We're going to need more guns. And then I came in and murdered you all. Hooray, that was me. I did that in the other one, too. All right, well, that looks to be cleared out for the most part. I mean, I don't need to really explore this any farther than here. We might come back here later and look around. Although this might be a glitch now. I had this happen on my other character with uh, what's-his-face from the other radio. Travis, come on, buddy. Um, when you're in the Silver Shroud. He'll get stuck if you save him. He, there's a small glitch where he'll get stuck in his uh, captor's area. And he'll just stand there. So if that's still true, we might hear Travis, but Travis might live over here now. I guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Either way, that looks like it'll about do it for this episode. What we're going to do is we're going to drop back home. Have a grand old time. Um, good, our happiness is going up here. That's that's a good thing. Well, we have Kate living there. We have that one provisioner that's wandering back and forth between towns, not doing jack shit otherwise. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Not that one. Escape. Transfer. T. Um, have some guns to probably break down, I think. In armor. Uh, scrap. Lightweight shadow metal chest piece. Yes. Now, I wanted to check this as well. I grabbed his marksman, calibrated, powerful. I have just powerful. This would give me better act, or I have powerful. I'm confused. Oh. Leave those Brahmin alone! Ah, Jesus Christ. That scared me. Did you actually see me twitch? I actually got a uh, scare twitch there. By the way, um, but yeah, I got that other rifle because it had the extended magazine and such, and I want to see if it'd be more lucrative to just break it down or not. So let's see. So... Damn it! I don't see any movement. Can I please be out of combat now so I can do what I wanted to do? Brahmin. Alright, well this is going to extend my playtime a little bit longer, even though it's going to be mundane stuff. Let's go hunting for these fucking idiot. Damn it. Come here. Hey, man. Hi. You saved my life. Please, take this. Huh? Thanks. See ya. Alright, I just got money for shooting a dog. That's fun, I guess. Alright. Now, what I was trying to say from the beginning is on that other one, I want to see if it'd be more lucrative to just make the parts that I have, or if I can switch them over to my other gun. We'll have to wait until I get over here and see... But I keep getting interrupted. 
Because I have the marksman powerful. This was a calibrated powerful. I mean... Why is the calibrated powerful worse than just powerful? So now we do that, and then we go to mine, which is the powerful. Calibrated powerful, now we can go back. I have the medium quick eject, this one had the just large magazine, I don't really care about that. So marksman, sniper rifle, get rid of. Good to go there. Now, just hop in on this little happy little thing there, throw that mod in there. And about 158 pounds. That's almost fine. We'll go drop off some of the extra stuff we have. We need to get working on this again and get some uh, power going from that 10 there. That's why I did that 10 and all is because I'm going to move some stuff around and hook it up there. Uh, transfer. Oops. Uh, synth should go in this one. Synth. If you're wondering why I grabbed all those helmets, by the way, I will show you in a little bit. Winter jacket and jeans, so all this will go in here. Oh, not in a little bit. The next, when I start getting more people. Um, mining helmets allow it so I can put it on all my workers that are working out there. What did I just throw in here? Give me that back. Um, it'll allow me to put it on any of the people that are working out in um, my food farms. And then I'll be able to see them easier. They'll be able to see easier, quote-unquote. I'm, I'm, I'm using quotations in my fingers. But either way, once again, we will end it right here, guys, at the good old base. Um, the next one, we will continue with Bobby's task. We'll go and get that asshole out of jail or whatever. Hopefully it doesn't cost me much. I guess we'll have to wait and see. We're going to put this kind of right here so then I can uh, hook it up to a wall if I need to. Over here so I can put more turrets along the walls if I need. We will wait and see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey. Gates that way, asshole. He's probably coming through that side all the time. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He's dumb. But anyway, yeah. Uh, the next one, we'll go ahead and continue with Bobby Brown's task. We'll go ahead and get that all dug up. And then we'll probably be able to pick up Hancock after all that. So it'll be nice and fun. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends because it really helps me a lot. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye!